10 of your four and let's solve this beautiful equation together it's so easy let's do this together so we're going to begin with our solution so look at what we have 4 to the power of x minus 2 is equal to 40 now what do you do you see that 40 cannot be expressed in powers of 4 so what we should do is just to take log of both sides so we have log of 4 to the power of x minus 2 is equal to log of 40 now remember quickly for every log of a to the power of x is always x log a. The power multiplies. So this power multiplies. So we have x minus 2 log 4 is equal to log of 40. Now what do you do? Remember these two are together. What you need to do is to clear this. So we divide by log of 4. We also divide this by log of 4. So this takes of this, we have x minus 2 is log of 40 divided by log of 4. Now we're going to simplify this. We know too well that 40 is 2 times 20. 20 is 2 times 10. 10 is 2 times 5. So for 40, this is what we have. So it means that we're going to have x minus 2 is equal to log of 40 is 2 into 3, which is 2 cubed multiplied by 5, and is divided by 4, is the same as 2 times 2, which is 2 squared. So we have log of 2 squared. Now keep solving. We are going to have, so this gives us x minus 2 is equal to, now remember, for every log of a multiplied by b, it's always log of a multiplication turns to addition. So we're going to apply this rule on this. So we have log of 2 cubed plus log of 5 is divided by log of 2 squared. Keep solving. x minus 2. Remember the power multiplies the log. So we have 3 log 2 plus log of 5. Now we can use this to divide each numerator. So for this, we are going to have, this power multiplies, we have 2 log 2, use it on this 2. So this is what we have. Now we are going to have x is equal, x minus 2. So we have x minus 2 is equal to, these two are the same, so they can take off. We have 3 on 2 plus log of 5 divided by 2 log 2. Now, remember quickly, for every log of A divided by log of B, it's always log of A base B. So if you apply this on this, you are going to have X minus 2 is equal to 3 on 2 plus, remember the coefficient here is 1. So we have half of log, applying this here, so we have log 5 base 2. So to get x, remove this negative 2. You need to add 2 to both sides. So we have x is equal to 3 on 2 plus 2. Remember, we are adding 2. So we have plus half of log of 5 base 2. Now this add 2 is the same as 3 on 2 plus 2 is 2 on 1. So multiply this, it gives you 3. Multiply this, it gives you 4. Multiply the denominator, it gives you 2. If you add this, it gives you 7 on 2. So adding these two, we are going to have x is 7 on 2 plus half of log of 5 base 2. So this gives us the simplified value of x. Now we're going to plug this value of x on the left side to see if it gives us back 40. And that is the most interesting part I wouldn't want you to miss. And for you to also have watched through this point, it shows what we do interest. You don't forget to give this a like. Sharing it helps algorithm to send to more people. If you are still new, hit that subscription button. We have a lot to give to you every day. Let's verify together to have. To verify. So we have 4. This is our x. We have 7 on 2 plus half of log of 5 base 2 minus 2. 
Will this be equal to 40? Let's see to that. So we collect these two there constants. So we're going to have 4 on seven, 4 raised to power 7 on 2 minus 2 plus half log 5 base 2. Remember we said this is the same as from what you have here. This is the same as 3 on 2 plus 2. Give us this. So minus 2. If you subtract 2 from this, see that this goes up. So it returns you to this. So for subtracting, we are going to have 4 to the power of 3 on 2 plus half log 5 base 2. Now at this point, remember this rule of exponents that if a is raised to power m plus n is equal to a raised to power m multiplied by this. So we're going to apply this rule here. You see that this is of this form. So we're going to have 4 to the power of 3 on 2. Addition sign here turns to multiplication. So we have 4 to the power of half of log 5 base 2. Now remember that 4, as we said, is 2 raised to power 2. is raised to power 3 on 2. Multiplied by this is 2 to the power of 2. is raised to power of half of log of 5 base 2. Now remember also for every a to the power of m raised to power n is a to the power of n multiplied by n. So if you apply this rule here, the powers will always multiply. So this multiplies and this takes off. So we have 2 to the power 3 divided by 1 is 3 multiplied by 2. Now this is over 1. This takes off. 1 multiplies this we have log of 5 base 2. Recall also that for every a to the power of log of b base a, these two bases are the same. It gives us this number b. So if you apply this for this, we are going to have 2 to the power of 3 multiplied by, so this and this are the same, so we have 5. So from here we have 2 to the power of 3 is 2 multiplied 3 times multiplied by 5. So it means we have, if you multiply this, it gives you 8 times this is 40. And that is what we have at the right side. So we can conclude that our x we got at 7 on 2 plus half of log of 5 base 2 is absolutely correct. And I hope you really learned something today. If you did, don't forget to give this a like. I'll also be curious to see your own method in the comments. Thank you. And if you are still new, don't forget to hit the subscription button. We have a lot to give to you. Helping us to share this, we have the algorithm to send it to more people that need this. You'll see in my next class. Bye-bye.